Good evening. It's getting close to dinner. Um, I've finished up my work for the day and I just have a few poems for you this evening. Uh, I'm feeling a little existential today. I'm not rattled, really, but um, someone that I knew for a long time, almost 30 years, died uh, probably last night. I'm not really sure what the details are, but he was uh, a musician who was really a big influence on how I became an actual professional singer who sang for money. He was, uh, he was a, a good friend, so I don't, um, I don't know what happened yet, so I'm waiting to find out. Um, and for some reason, the news today, uh, made me anxious, even though nothing's new except the numbers keep going up and people are getting sicker. So there's that. But um, I found some great poems. I started this Thursday last week with a Mary Oliver poem, so I'm going to do one of hers and then another one. Um, sorry, just struggling here with the book. Um, oh, terrible camera work. Apologies. <laughs> Okay, terrible. This one by Mary Oliver is called Some Questions You Might Ask. Is the soul solid like iron? Or is it tender and breakable like the wings of a moth in the beak of an owl? Who has it and who doesn't? I keep looking around me the face of the moose is as sad as the face of Jesus. The swan opens her white wings slowly. In the fall, the black bear carries leaves into the darkness. One question leads to another. Does it have a shape like an iceberg? Like the eye of a hummingbird? Does it have one lung like the snake and the scallop? Why should I have it and not the anteater who loves her children? Why should I have it and not the camel? Come to think of it, what about the maple trees? What about the blue iris? What about the little stones sitting alone in the moonlight? What about roses and lemons and their shining leaves? What about the grass? By Mary Oliver. I have a lot of her poetry. Um, anyhow, that's the first one today. I don't have a lot to say. I'm sorry. I guess I'm just feeling a little overwhelmed and a little worn out. How are you? Um, I continue to be grateful. It helps. Grateful for home and for family, for my friends. I had a beautiful Facebook, uh, not a Facebook, uh, just a phone chat with a friend in the San Francisco area today. And we talked a lot about what all this means. Um, this pause that's being asked of us. She thinks the same. It might be forcing, forcing us to change how we live. So I think that's true. So this one is a very short poem. Sorry, the camera work. I'm terrible today. Please forgive me. Um, and my hair's in my eyes. Okay. Um, before I read this Emily Dickinson poem, uh, everyone I know, their church is closed, and some of us have live stream church, and my church in Northfield, Northfield Community Church, uh, is doing live stream church, sort of chapel, very short 
service with devotions, and then our minister, Dwayne, is doing um, devotions on the preacher's porch midweek, which has been very helpful. And I'm trying to read um, Lenten devotions. Maybe if you're Jewish, you have a sort of pre-Passover stuff to do. I'm not sure what you're doing to keep yourself centered, but um, I'm trying to do it every day. So this is a poem by Emily Dickinson called Going to Church, which feels really timely when we can't go to the building. Some keep Sunday going to church. I keep it staying at home with a bobolink for a chorister and an orchard for a throne. Some keep Sabbath in surplus. I just wear my wings and instead of tolling the bell for church, our little sexton sings. God preaches, a noted clergyman, and the sermon is never long. So instead of going to heaven at last, I'm going all along. Emily Dickinson. Reminding me and reminding any of you missing your church family that you can be in the world and have time to think about what this world is, what's it for, who are we, who are we to our maker. Um, I tend to be pensive in the first place and all of this time at home is making it even more so. I hope you're coping, I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I hope you're reading nutritious things and watching stuff that makes you laugh. And um, I'm here. You can text me. You can private message. Uh, I'm trying to reach out to a friend every day. I'm thinking about this world and what it's for. Be well. Take care. Stay healthy. Bye.